All right, you are welcome again to introductory mathematical analysis uh, A. We are still in chapter 13, chapter 13. And again, we are still in chapter 13.2, chapter 13.2. All right, uh, in the previous video in chapter 13.2, uh, the topic is absolute extrema on a closed interval. Absolute extrema on a closed interval. Okay, so in the previous video, we mentioned the procedure to find the uh, absolute extrema on a closed interval for a function f that is continuous on a closed interval. And the procedure again, I, re I repeat them. Step number one was find the critical values of f. Of course, before you find the critical values of f, you must find the derivative and uh, find the critical value after you derive. Okay. Then, step number two, you must evaluate f of x at the end point and at the critical values. Okay. In the interval. Okay. If you find the critical value that is out of the interval, for example, the interval here, let's say it's 1 to 4, and one of your critical value in the previous video we did, the critical value we got is x equals to 2, which is still within here. But if, for example, we get x equals to 5, is out of this critical value, okay, is out of this interval rather, is out of this interval. So we might not evaluate f of s at that point. Okay, please take note of that. We can only evaluate it at the critical values if the value of the critical value is within the interval. It's within the interval. Okay. Then step number three, we find the maximum value, which is the greatest value, and the minimum value, which is the least value okay all right so let's take example example number one want to find find the absolute find the absolute extrema of the function Of the function f of x equals to 2 over 3 x raised to power 3 minus 3 over 2 x raised to power 2 minus 9x plus 5 on the interval on the interval minus 1 1 on the interval minus 1 1 okay on the interval minus 1 1 okay so we want to find uh, the absolute extrema here okay let's find that uh, our solution the first thing we need to do is to find the derivative find the derivative so we look for the derivative Here, the derivative is uh, uh, 2x squared minus 3x minus 9. Okay, that is the derivative. That is the derivative. So, what is next? We equate the derivative to 0. Equate the derivative to 0. So we have 2x squared minus 3x minus 9 equals to 0. Okay, so we equate the derivative to 0. Here now we need to find the factors. Okay, this is uh, 18 and this is 3. So we have, uh, uh, we have 18, we have 9 and 2 as a factor, we have uh, 6 and 3 okay as another factor we have uh, that is fine okay let's go with this 6 and 3 okay now for that one 
this is uh, 3 at the middle so we have 2 x square minus 6 x yeah plus 3 x minus 9 equals to 0 okay now we can now this is uh, multiply each other will give us that plus each other will give us that that is fine so let's go so we have two x here x minus three then we have plus three x minus three okay that's fine equals to zero so we have two x plus three and then we have x minus three equals to zero all right that is fine so with this now we now get our x which is this or x minus 3 equals to 0 so this give us uh, 2x equals to minus 3 x equals to minus 3 over 2 or x equals 3 okay that's fine now with this now what do we do next that is the value of our x let's check up if there's a point where this derivative will not exist there is no point okay now let's look at our value again this is from minus 1 to 1 okay minus 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2 is within what minus 3 over 2 is uh, uh, the same thing as minus 1.5 okay and this is equals to 3 so if you look at this now is minus 1 to 1 and this minus 1 over 2 is out of this minus 1. So it's, 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 it's before this minus 1. So it's not included in this interval. S equals to 3 is also out of this 1. So it's not included also in this interval. Or so, so what do we do? What we just need to do? So we will not evaluate this value of x okay this those are our critical values let me write critical values is x equals to minus uh, 3 over 2 and 3 but when we're evaluating our f our f we are not going to include them because they are out of this interval please take note of that they are out of this interval because of that we are not going to include them we're only going to evaluate the end point now we are only going to evaluate the end point okay so let's evaluate the end point so our f of x our f of x i write it again which is 2 over 3 x3 minus 3 over 2 x square minus 9 x plus 5 so now i need to evaluate only the end point because these are not part of this interval. They are outside this interval. Okay, all right, so let's evaluate now. So we evaluate f of minus one, which is three over this, uh, minus one, three, minus three over two, minus one square, minus, minus one, plus five. Okay, so this is minus one, minus two over three. This is uh, minus three over two, uh, this is plus 9, then plus 5. Okay, so uh, we have uh, this is uh, this is 6. Okay, this is 6. This here 2, 4, minus 4, minus this is 3, minus 9. Okay, plus plus 14. Okay, plus 14. Alright, so with that now, we are going to be having minus 13 over 6 plus 14 all right plus 14 so we have that let's find f of 1 f of 1 will be 2 over 3 1 3 minus 3 over 2 1 square minus 9 1 plus 5 okay with this one now we are going to be having uh, this is 2 over 3, this is minus 3 over 2, this is minus 9 plus 5. Okay, this will give us, it's the same 6, but this time around this is 4, and this is minus 9. 
okay then this is plus or minus rather this is minus minus 4 okay all right so let's go so this now give us this is minus 5 now minus 5 over 6 minus 4 okay surely this is negative and this is positive okay so it means the maximum is this one this is the maximum and this is the minimum so this is absolute maximum and this is absolute minimum okay please ensure that you understand we did not include again let me reiterate we did not include these critical values we have because they are out of this interval that is given so you will not evaluate the critical value when they are out of the interval you will only evaluate the critical value when they are not out of the intervals please take note of that ensure that you take note of that all right make sure that you take note of that thank you